Hey there you guys, welcome back. <laughs> Today we are going to do another update on this Arrow Garden Herb Garden. It's growing so well. I cannot believe it. Um, uh, let me just turn on the lights here. Uh, there we, oh my god, so bright. I had to turn it off for the beginning of this video because uh, <laughs> you can barely see my face. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, um, how many days is it in here? Uh, we are 22 days in. And I don't know whether you can see it, I'll bring you in closer in just a second. These herbs are getting gigantic, uh, well, for 22 days. <laughs> that's, that's less than a month. Um, we've already started to uh, take some of the dill. We've been uh, pruning some of that and uh, adding it into some cooking. Uh, it tastes really nice in potatoes. I enjoy a uh, good dill flavoring. I can't wait for the springtime when we can do some pasta salad and put some fresh dill in the pasta salad. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. So right now it's telling me that there is a new tip available. Uh, the other day uh, I got a tip saying don't uh, don't cut back any of the uh, or don't um, thin the plants because you want to get as much yield out of the herbs as you can. For things like tomatoes, I guess, and peppers and other things, maybe some flowering plants, you want to trim back uh, any additional seedlings that that grow and uh, to give uh, one plant the space it needs to really thrive. But when it comes to herbs, you're going to be cutting them all the time. So uh, if you leave a lot of them, uh, it gives you more plants to choose from, to trim and, and use in your food. So that was a good tip, because I was going to go and thin them out. Even though in my mind I was thinking, I kind of don't want to do that. So let's see what the new tip has to say. Just tap the button. Uh, prune fast-growing plants like basil to allow slow growers like thyme to get enough light. Trim basil above the leaf joint when it's about three to four inches tall. So we'll be doing that very soon. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video, but uh, we'll do a video where we trim some of the stuff back. Uh, soon we'll be definitely trimming back the uh, dill, as you can see in just a minute. Uh, so let's just get to it. Uh, enough talking. Uh, this plant uh, or this system is doing phenomenally well. I've added. Uh, listen to me. Let's get to it. Uh, I've added uh, water. <laughs> Uh, twice to the system, and it's amazing how much water you do have to add when you do add water. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, I've added nutrients once. Uh, in the next couple of days, I will have to, in five more days, I'll have to add more nutrients. It's every two weeks, like I said uh, in an earlier video. Uh, so let's just uh, get in here. I'll raise the lights up, and you can see how the plants are growing. Phenomenal. We'll look at the roots too. That is fascinating. These basils are doing phenomenal. Uh, they're about uh, five or six inches tall, so I will be pruning these back in uh, well in the next day or two. Uh, this basil, they're both the same. They're they're looking really really good. This one says that it's a uh, Genovese basil. I don't know. I can still not say it. Um, and then this one is supposed to be a Thai basil, but they look the same. And they, uh, they smell the same. They both smell like licorice. Like an anise. And then uh, this one over here is supposed to be the Genovese basil as well. But this one just reminds me of the regular uh, basil that you would use in a pasta. And then I've got the cilantro. The cilantro is doing really, really well. It's grown. Look at the root systems that are developing on these plants. Can you see that? It's incredible. They're so huge. And then this is the dill. Holy goodness, this dill is phenomenal. I can't even get the roots out of the uh, out of the hole. Are you able to see that? This is oop. This is the curly basil. Or not the curly basil, the curly parsley. And the roots are looking lovely. Let's just stick that back in there. But can you see the roots? Oh my god. The root development is beautiful. Let me just uh, try to spin this back in here. Sorry for my hands in the shot. There we go. And then deep in here we've got the Italian parsley. This is supposed to be a medium grower, but uh, or a medium height. Or no, actually it's a tall height. So it's in the back, but it's considerably slower. So I'll have to trim back some of these dill leaves and some of the, uh, the basil so that it gets uh, more light. 
I thought that um, this parsley wasn't going to grow, this, um, this curly parsley, but as you can see, the, the seeds have developed and they're doing well. And then we've also got the chives that I also thought wasn't going to develop, but it is doing just fine, as you can see. I've only got two sprigs in there, but they will multiply. I was just touching the dill, and now it smells so dilly in here. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. I think dill is one of my favorite herbs to smell. That and, uh, I think, anything lemon. So anyway, this is an update on the Arrow Garden. Uh, this is the Bounty model. And um, so far, it is growing amazingly well. In the next couple of uh, days, I'll do an update video just of pruning. And uh, maybe next weekend. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay tuned for more updates. Show me what you're growing. Are you starting seeds inside? I'd love to know what you're going to grow. I uh, just ordered some seed packs myself um, from one of my friend's uh, uh, seed companies. So I'll, uh, I'll probably show you about that later on. And uh, yeah, until next time, show me what you're growing, like I said. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, the links are down below, as well as on uh, Plants and Things What's Growing on Facebook. Uh, that group is growing phenomenally fast. It's really amazing, it's out of control, and it's fabulous. So anyway, uh, join us for the fun. Until next time, happy growing, everyone. Uh, so many different types of begonias, I don't know. Anyway, if you're buying a bulb in a package like this in your garden center, uh, this is how you plant it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I've got my um, pre-mixed soil.